music with Monali. I am Monali. My last video of the day. And um, this is another Grace Vanderwall. So it's coming from Randy again. And um, kind of nervous about this one too. But I can see how her voice would very much lend itself to a song like this. So it's a, a kiss to build a dream on. <laughs> and um, it's Louis Armstrong, right? I mean, I know other people have done it as well. But I think main everyone knows like main one is Louis Armstrong and I love him and um I think his voice is super cool and uh her voice is super cool so <laughs> I'm excited to hear it and um I'm a little nervous right now I don't know what I mean I shouldn't be nervous yet but on Patreon you know um, for my three top tiers I do an exclusive video and then I um for all of them like one video that just goes there to them and not on YouTube or anything and so I did a poll about what they want to see and uh it got voted that I'm going to be performing. And so I'm nervous about that because as y'all know, my voice is raspy too. Kind of like Grace's, but not as pretty. And uh, because I have those voice nodules, singer's nodules from singing so long and I'm um, being in a band and kind of abusing my voice. So that's why when I hear, like when I mention like when Grace kind of yelled on that one, or I feel like they're straining. I'm just like, don't do that. Cause then when you're 35, you're going to have singer's nodules and you're going to be able to sing as well. So I'm nervous to perform, but, um, you know, that that's part of it. I let them vote on it. That was an option. And so I wonder what I should do. Anyway, just wanted to throw that out there as a little vlog in the beginning. Okay. Am I going to like Grace doing Kiss to Build a Dream on? Let's see. Oh, gosh. Reply hazy. Probably because I just blabbered for five minutes about nothing. Uh, yes. Just yes. That's it. Just yes. Okay. You know, I was nervous about her doing Billie Holiday, I'll Be Seeing You, and that turned out to be absolutely amazing for me. Like, I went back and listened to it like four times again, so. Okay, here we go. Give me a kiss before you leave me And my imagination will feed my hungry heart Leave me with one thing before we part a kiss to build a dream on When I'm alone With all my fences I'll, I'll be with you <laughs> I like the poop at the end. <laughs> hey, Goose. Mommy, I'm going to check if the baby's awake. Yeah, don't check yet. Why? Because she's not. I can see her. So anyway, um, so that was really good, you know? And I, I have to say, when she's doing these retro -y songs, her voice is like, I love it even more. And I don't know if it's just because I love retro songs or if it's because... Her voice just sounds so good with it. it. It sounds like she's coming through a record player. Like it's so like, I don't know if it's like kind of that raspy quality I like about her. And I can hear her pronunciation very well. Like it's great. I don't have trouble with understanding her. And it's not, it, may, it could be because I know the words, but I feel like it's more than that. I feel like it's just, she sings these songs very well. And of course she's not always gonna do covers. She's gonna do her own stuff, which is amazing. But I wish, ooh, I wish she would do some, I don't know if she has or not, but like some originals that sound retro-y like this. I don't know if that's like a thing she's done or not, but I really like her. And the only reason I'm not giving it a 10 is because she did mess up a couple times. So of course, like it's it wasn't like mind blowing, like something, oh my God, you know. But if I'm starting at a five, like I'm giving her, I'm gonna give her a nine. And the reason I'm giving it a nine 
and not lower is because I'm taking into consideration as I do the whole performance. She let herself be vulnerable by messing up. She let herself just kind of just be free and silly and loose, but still sound amazing. And um, so I'm going to give this one a nine. Uh, I really liked it. I really did. And if she does this one like recorded, I don't know if she does or not. Um, or another live version where she does like the whole song again, just like with the Billie Holiday one, I want to know because I want to hear it. So thanks for these requests, Randy. These were awesome. They just put me in a good mood. So I appreciate that. And um, as usual, you know, if, if you're wanting some requests done, uh, my schedule's pretty full for June now. But um, if you head over to Patreon and you join up, if any of the tiers are open, and I'm not sure if they are or not, um, any of the top three tiers, then you get a, some requests. Uh, go ahead and do that so you can get in for July. Or if you just have one request, then um, hit me up on PayPal. And um, yeah, thanks, guys. Be back soon. Music with Monolith. Cheers.